Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to The Last of Us 2. Alright, Dina's having a nap. Hopefully the sound is being picked up. I've messed around with the settings because one of my Resident Evil 3 recordings didn't record the audio of the game, annoyingly. Because Streamlabs apparently hates me. But I managed to get it to work on a few tests, so I'm fairly confident it's working now. But anyway, some revelations have been made. Dina is pregnant, Ellie is immune. And they've had a bit of a tiff about it. Alright, nothing there. Alright, what's that? Needs a key. Alright. I mean, yeah, in fairness, I have to agree with Ellie on this one. Coming out here while you're pregnant, not the smartest move. Right, okay. That looks all important, so I'll... Because, essentially... Whereas before we could have left Dina to look after herself, now Ellie's going to feel an obligation to protect Dina from danger, and that's going to endanger the mission. So yeah, I'm on Ellie's side on this one. September 4th. Me, Perez, Green and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago, and so far so good. Wolf haven't come looking here yet. The city's lost to the wolf. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Therese, Ward and the others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6th. Can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No, con no contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th. Still feverish, don't have any big cuts so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for whatever they're, wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th. Shouldn't be taking this long. Oh dear. Okay. This note's old. Still, better be careful. Anything in here? No. I'm guessing his friends were ambushed at the hospital by either infected or the wolves. Or possibly someone else. Whoever this cult is. The scars. 34 days. Oop, trading card. Beyond. Real name, Imani Graves, 8040, none. After a near-death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks, this seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world to the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead. Oh, excuse me. Now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spiritual medium for grieving families seeking closure. However, her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise. 
She looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? Ooh, I quite like that idea. Like, like that idea of having like superpowers but at a cost to yourself. Like, there's quite a. I like that niche. It's not like Superman or the Flash who don't really their their powers don't have any direct consequence on their on, on them physically or mentally. All right. Now we can have a look in here. Before I take a step outside, let's have a look in here. Oh, another note. Seven thirteen. I don't think they're coming back. They're not coming back. I either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food, then see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's answering. Anyway, the wolf can't hit all the federal listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago, still shaking. Need a cigarette. You think they'd be, they'd, there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in a fucking theatre, but apparently not this one. September 19. Power went out again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Uh, I'm guessing he, guessing he never made it back from that. Um. Yeah, health. Hey, I thought you said I could... Hmm, you lied to me. Lovely weather. Oh, I like that she put a hood up. All right, is our man still up here? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, here he is. Damn. You get fried? Guess you weren't much of an electrician. Ooh. <sighs> Got it. Okay. Let's get down quickly. Can I do anything with this ladder? No, but I'm guessing I probably will do later. It just has that feel about it. Ooh, keys. All right. 
exactly what I needed. Shame the radio didn't work, but that's life. Just checking on Dina, see what she's doing. Can I talk to her? No, fair enough. No, I turned all the lights on. Cool. Tidy up after yourselves, for God's sake. Oh, I can still hear the radio. <laughs> Right, what we've got here? Sick habit. Crap. <laughs> the sick habit with brick shit houses. <laughs> Pinnacle Theatre, fourteenth of the ninth, thirteen. Oh no, this is America. Um, no, that is the right the right way around. Odd. Never mind. Twenty five dollars at the door. All proceeds to benefit Seattle Children's Centre. Uh, settle for less, who can say, once more, unto the breach, hideout, running towards my problems, possession, the light of two minds, Uncle Armstrong and Holly, QED. No way. Oh, we're not going to have another guitar thing, are we? That's been in there a while. Why is it always the same one that's out of tune? The audio is not out of sync, is it? No, it seems fine. I say, God, not more technical difficulties. Three years earlier. Storm sound like so. 
Oh, I suck. Nah. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, where are we going, Joe? I'm gonna start guessing. Do you want to spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it <laughs> a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> Mind your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! You should see your face right now. What if I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this way. All right, so she has learned to swim. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta. Push the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Take a look at this. See that deer over there? See it? Just through there, look. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Looks like. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. <laughs> You're going to need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rob you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. <laughs> Get another dive over here. Where are you taking me? Sneakers. How many of those do you have? Not enough. <laughs> there. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. That's a, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm taking the lead now. Holy 
Shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> it's a motherfucking dinosaur. T-Rex, king of the dinosaurs. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big boy. Joe said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he said I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself, smug old Fergie. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Her elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. Tommy Joel. Oops. Farming rotation blows. I get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self. I don't get why people ask this ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Marie about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut coloured paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Alright. Can I climb up it? I can. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur! Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Okay, I can't seem to do anything. Ah! Hey, hey. Alright. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Wyoming. Out of the way, Joel. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. Oh, how did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She uh, she told me about it. <laughs> Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. <sighs> What's this? Uh, it's a book. <sighs> it's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's where that came from. Uh, this is the pretty good day Ellie was talking about when we were in Joel's house. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Look 
those talents? That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D... Dionanicus. Mm, pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Hmm. Yeah, Jurassic Park. Still one of the greatest movies ever made. I might watch that later, actually. It's put me in the mood for, for a good old dinosaur movie. What's that? Oh, Dr. Man. Grant's hat. You want to try it on? I do not. Hm. Your loss. <laughs> Compsognathus. Compsognathus. Ooh, it's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they swarm you. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah, but a different one. See, there's a sequel. It wasn't as good. I quite liked the Lost World Jurassic Park. I thank you very much, Joel. Now the third one, yeah, that I could agree with you. That one was definitely not, definitely not worth uh, writing home about. Careful, Joel. Triceratops. <laughs> Joel, look. <laughs> that is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. <laughs> That was terrible, Ellie. And I hate the fact that I giggled at that. Ooh, a stegosaurus. Tiny head. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> Which of course means it absolutely now needs to be a thing. Was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> Triceratops means three horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Absolutely not. Brachiosaurus. No? Okay. Uh, Demetrodon. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator? Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. This does. Floats it all day. <laughs> Mimesis name means chicken mimic. I, uh, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> Can we put the hat on the Gallimimus? No, we cannot. Here we go, Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys says, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie and when can we see it? 
Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. That is one big pile of shit. Say anything about those? No. What's in here? Footprint. Can't go through there. Ellie's kind of uh, reminding me of uh, Carl. Velociraptor. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about, the Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't touch the movies, I guess. <laughs> Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. <laughs> what do I like? Oh, Tommy. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm enjoying this moment. Oh, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. <laughs> Won't go upstairs just yet because there's another area I want to investigate. Oh, these guys. Huh. There we go. Give it the hat. Another hat. Can't give it to Joe, I guess. Right, I'm gonna check out this area over here. No? Okay. Oh, trading card. The Nighthawk trading card. Oh, cool. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was the little creature thing? I forget. <laughs> um, I imagine he's talking about Pokemon there. Nighthawk, Jerry Level, 8080 Champions. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spark, Aerobots, and the Society... Sounds like a pill. Joel, please, I am reading. His quick thinking ended up saving the day, with his arms and legs well wounded in battle. Dr. Stone created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal Greyhound, SCO... The small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evildoers always ready to dive back into action. Huh, I see. That was the thing. Well, now we've done that, let's head upstairs, shall we? I want to put a hat on the big Brachiosaurus. Did you 
go to museums a lot? I like how he's openly talking more about Sarah. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Well, it was fun having the hat for a while, but the Brachiosaurus has earned it. I'm guessing Maria already scoped this place out so knows it's clear. Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Never heard that before in my life. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Hey, Gungro, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. <laughs> Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Yeah, I was, I was literally about to ask the same question. How would, how would they know how they smell? You can't breathe on the moon. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about that? Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. Well, I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's... Ballsy. <laughs> Ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. <laughs> hey, did you know that the heat shields of space shuttles are made of sand? I did not. Oh, some kind of thick rubber. Nope. Sand. You're welcome. <laughs> How about that? We're surviving the apocalypse and learning something. What's this one? One day. <laughs> one day I too will go to space. Oh, fuck yeah. 
Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. I'm considering they left the real ones on the moon. I would say no. <laughs> Not gonna go through there just yet. Let's explore all the things and learn all the things. There's got to be something about the moon to talk about. Yep. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. <laughs> Risky, but sure, I'd want to get in there too. But now, hold on just a minute. If we're going into space, you're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. What was I thinking? <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. <laughs> After you. Watch your head. I'd be pressing all of them. I love a button. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. What do you say? 
say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. Best birthday ever. Right. Anything to talk about these? Probably should have checked these first. Maybe I could have grabbed different helmets, I don't know. Trying to check that door, I suppose. Here. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Now we're going to have to do some swimming. <laughs> I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. As she has explored this building, I'm guessing there's going to be trouble in this next area. But what I'm going to do is end this episode here. Because I want to make sure that the recording has gone smoothly. And it's been almost an hour, so I think we've I think we've covered enough ground for now. So for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been The Last of Us Part 2. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.